there and welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this video I'm going to demonstrate 10 different songs that all just use two chords throughout all if not most of the songs. So they're all different chords for each song but hopefully there'll be many of the songs on there that you like and recognize and this is suitable for, for beginners if you just want to get started playing some songs that you know with some easy chords for you to either sing along with or for other people to sing over. So these songs are mostly all guitar based. There's only actually one song in there that's actually on the piano. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Just stroke that subscribe button down there and just tickle the like button. It really helps my channel. Let's dive in. So the first one in the list is Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. So the two chords that we need is a B major and an E major. So the B major, we're gonna play in root position. So it's B in the left hand and then B, D sharp and F sharp. And then to get to E major, you turn the left hand to E, keep your thumb on the B, and then we need E and G sharp. E major you could play there, but it's not quite the right sound. The chord change is a bit more kind of subtle like that. So we've got B major, you can choose to play octaves in the left hand if you want. And then E major, uh, second inversion. The next one is Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles. So the chords we need is E minor, which is E, G, B, and then C major, which is C, E, and G. Obviously playing E and then C's in the left hand. Eleanor Rigby picks up the rhymes in the church where a wedding has been. So the next song is Something in the Way by Nirvana. So I've listened to the live version of him playing this and the chords he uses is F minor, so we have F and then F, A flat and C and then D flat major. So all you're going to do there is turn the C to a D flat. Major, this is first inversion. Something in the way. Mm. Something in the way. Yeah. Mm. So the next one we're going to look at is Paperback Writer by the Beatles. So this one uses G major. So G, B, and D, and the left hand just a G, and then it move, moves up to C major. So we have this chord in Eleanor Rigby, so C, E, G. So it mostly stays on the G. So just an example. It's a dirty story of a dirty man, and his clinging wife doesn't understand. His son is working for the dead. Version from that G to this G. Right so the next song is Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. So the only chords we need is A major, so A, then A, C sharp, and E. Next chord we need is E major. So I'm going to play the easiest way to get to E major from A is first inversion, so it's G sharp. B and E as well. And then you play E in the left hand. But don't tell my heart, my achy breaky heart. I just don't think you'd understand. And if you tell my heart, my achy breaky heart, he might blow up and kill his man. So the next 
next song is Dance the Night Away by the Mavericks. So the first one is E major. We've played it this way before. So B, E, and T sharp. E major is featuring quite a lot so far. And the next chord is a B7. Uh, so you could just play in the left hand a B, in the right hand D sharp, F sharp. It's quite a quick transition as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I just wanna dance the night away. With senoritas who can sway. But right now, tomorrow's looking bright. So the next one is my personal favourite on the track, which is Fallen by Alicia Keys, uh, particularly as this is the only piano based one. <laughs> so the two chords we need is E minor, so you can play just single E in the left hand, and then we have first inversion of E minor, so it's G, B, E, and then we have B minor 7, so B in the left hand, in the right hand that's A. D and F sharp. So again, that's E minor, B minor 7. So this next one is Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. So it's F major, which is F, A and C, and then F in the left hand, and then you literally just move that shape up one to G, B and D. And it goes back and forth between them both. So this next one is Blurred Lines by Robin Thicke. So this one uses two chords, G major that we just had, so G, B and D. And the quickest way to get to the next chord, which is we're going to play first inversion, so it's F sharp, A and D. So we have G major, G major. Good girl, I know you want it. And the last one is Give Peace a Chance by John Lennon. So the two chords we need here, I'm going to play them a bit higher up, is D flat major, so it's D flat in the left hand, then D flat, F, and A flat. And the next chord is A flat major. So it's the quickest way to get to there, to the next chord, playing it like this. So A flat in the left hand and in the right hand that's C, E flat and A flat. So we have, let's move my other fingers out of the way, so D flat major to A flat major. Or rather A flat major to D flat major. <laughs> All we are saying
So I hope you enjoyed that. Those were the 10 songs that I chose to demonstrate with. There are so many more songs that just have two chords throughout the song, so it proves that you don't need a really complicated chord structure to be able to write an effective song. Let me know if there are any songs down below that I missed out or that you know of that just use two chords and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request you need to click on this video which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered so I look forward to seeing you over there.